God's plan cannot be thwarted. Amen? Amen. Then the Bible says in Exodus chapter number 4, verses 10 to 12. Then Moses said to the Lord, Oh my God, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you spoke to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Exodus chapter number 4, verse 10 to 12. So the Lord said to him, Who has meant man's mouth? Or who makes the mute and the deaf and the seen and the blind? Have I not the Lord? Now therefore, come on, go. And I will be with your mouth and I teach you what to say. What I'm saying this afternoon, point number one is God has a plan that cannot be thwarted. And therefore, point number one is that He is ready to overcome your doubt and the every opposition that stands against you. Can I go further? God knew Moses was a starter. God knew Moses' weakness and he said, I have called you the way you are. I know how to deal with your weakness and I pray in the name of Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, even as we hear God revealing his plan unto us, that God will deal with every weakness in our lives. That God will deal with every opposition in the name of Jesus. I pray that whatever has been standing ahead of you, God will deal with it. If you believe it, somebody say amen. amen. God told Moses, I am the creator of the deaf. I am the creator of the mute. I am the creator of the blind. And the in soul I am. I am going to be with your mouth. I am going to be with your tongue. And I came in the name of Jesus to tell you that brethren, God knows your weakness. And God is able to help you. You only need to say, Lord, Lord, here I am. Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. If God is calling you to that family, for you to be the deliverer of the family, he has already known who you are. He has already considered your CV. He has already considered your weakness. God is going to overcome for you every weakness in the name of the Lord. God is going to overcome for you every fear in the name of Jesus. God is going to overcome for you every obstruction in the name of the Lord. And by this anointing and this grace, I pray that Lord Jehovah God will magnify his holy name, will exalt his holy name above your weakness, above your opposition, above your fear, above your cowardice. Somebody clap to God and say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I am sent to your life to tell you, lovely people, God knows you are not educated enough. God you are not masculine enough. God knows you are not that big person. But the God in our weakness is glorified. If you believe it, wave at me and say, hey man, I know you are not big like that. I know you are not strong like that. I know you don't come from that big family like that. But the same God who opposed Pharaoh on behalf of Moses, God is able to oppose your opposer. God is able to overcome your opposer. And if this May every opposition ahead of you bow as you go to the plan of God. And if this God given, may every of your weaknesses be your strength in the name of the Lord. If you believe it, clap to God and say amen. Somebody is saying I have no money, but God is the owner of money. God is able to help you in the name of the Lord. Because if he commanded the seas, if he commanded the mountains, if he commanded the mute to talk, if he commanded the blind to see, he can command your weakness, he can command your lack, he can command your body, even to align with the will of God. If you believe in somebody, say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am talking to Moses now. Mm. God knows your weakness. Sure. Just say, Lord, here I am. Mm -hmm. To deliver my family. Nobody will die of that disease in my family anymore. Nobody will drop out of school in my presence. Nobody will put him as shake it out. And as you say, Lord, here I am. If you are called, you are accepting God to be useful in your family. 
them, to deliver them from poverty, to deliver them from sicknesses. If you require finances, he will bring the finances. If you require eloquence, he will bring eloquence. If you require strength, he will bring strength. If you require people, he will bring people. If you require an anointing, he will bring the anointing. Because everything belongs to God and is able to let everything align with his will that is established. Because God's will cannot be thwarted. If you believe it, clap to God and shout the amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is overcoming every doubt mm -hmm. and every opposition mm -hmm. and every fear and every lack and every chaos of your life so that his plan will come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody that opposes you opposes God. If you are in the plan of God, Amen. everybody that stands against you, stand up. I will speak it as here. I came to say, May Moses is alive because God is about to show himself to Pharaoh through you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Number Two of the afternoon, God's sovereignty and power is about to be unleashed so that his plan will never be thwarted. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Zika. And the Lord says in Exodus 7, verse 1, And the Lord says to Moses, See, I have made you as a God to Pharaoh. Aye. And Aaron, your brother, shall be. Your prophet. Tell your neighbor, that is my verse. That is my verse. That is my verse. That is my verse. And the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you as a God to Pharaoh. And Aaron, your brother, will be your prophet. And I go deeper. Mm -hmm. But Pharaoh shall not eat you so that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. Amen. Exodus chapter number 11, verse 9. What am I saying? In the journey of faith, ladies and gentlemen, online and local, the enemy always thinks you can oppose the will of God. Mm -hmm. But I have some bad report and some good report. Mm -hmm. What, which of those do you want first? Good report. If you want the good report, wave at me. Mm. If you want the bad report first, tell wave at me. Allow me to give the first good report to everyone who is under the sound of my voice. That God's plan over your life, over everything that concerns God on you cannot be thwarted. And this is the good news that God is ready to deal with anybody and anything that opposes the will of God in your life. Mm -hmm. God said, I am anointing you specifically so that when you go to Egypt, you will be like God to fail. And I pray in the name of Jesus this precious afternoon that the anointing of God that came upon Moses will come upon somebody now. Amen. That you will walk like a God against every fellow. Amen. You will walk like a God against every opposition. Amen. You will walk like a God against the evils, the out. Almost shake it up. Clap to God and say, release the anointing God upon me in the name of the Lord. You may be sent to another city. As you go to that city, may you become like a God, the gods of that land. In the name of the Lord. Because God says, yes, because this man thinks I am a mere man. Because he thinks like you are a mere man. I am going to harden his heart. I am going to make his heart tough. And I am going to multiply my wonders, my miracles, my signs, so that by the end of the day, he will say, this is God. Somebody say amen. amen. In your case, I pray in the name of Jesus. May God do a wonder. Amen. May God do a miracle. Amen. May God do a sign. Amen. So that every witch in the hell will know there's a God in you. Mm. Every sorcerer in the village will know there's a God in you. Every man that was waiting for you to fall will know there's a God in you. If you believe it, clap to God and say amen. Amen. They said you will not go far, but may 
and the God who released the grace upon Moses come upon you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May the sovereignty of God be manifest through your life. Amen. I pray that whatever you lay your hands on will become a wonder. Amen. Will become a miracle. Amen. Will become a sign. Amen. Because God's plan cannot be parted. Mm. If God wants a bottle saved through someone, no devil in hell, mm. no demon in the sky can oppose that will. And as you arise, telling God, Yeah, I am, you smith. May God make you a God in Samburu. May God make you a God in your village. Amen. May God make you a God in this city. Amen. For them that are going abroad, when you go into that village in the new city, may God make you a God in that new city. Amen. So that they will say, Here come a man, here come a woman under the anointing of God. Like it was upon Moses. May every Pharaoh bow. Yes. Love to God and say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God's plan cannot be parted. Yes. May it come to pass. If you believe it, say amen. Amen. Number three of the day, the deliverance of Israel. The Bible says, and it came to pass at the end of the 400 years, 430 years, on the very same day, it came to pass that all the armies of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. If you are asking which scripture is that, please write Exodus chapter number 12, verses 41. Exodus chapter number 12, verses 1, for the sake of you and the other person and the online. Allow me to repeat. And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years. On that very day, I want you to underline that fact, that statement. On that very day, because God predestined the deliverance of the children of Israel from poverty, that it will happen on that day. Mm -hmm. Wave at me and say, on that day. On that day. On that day. On that Can you imagine Moses is not 100 years yet? But God predestined 430 years ago that on this day they will live. Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I declare in the name of Jesus, the appointed time of God to release his will upon your life is coming. Amen. The Bosit Italia, your purpose in God's will will, will be unveiled on this day. Amen. At the appointed day of the Lord. Amen. Can I go deeper? Yes. I like it and I like it. Do you like it so far? Ma'am. God's plan in our lives cannot be threatened. Amen. It is fully established. Amen. It is fully established. It is fully established. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray in the name of Jesus because the point is the deliverance of Israel. That was the plan of God for 430 years. I pray today and now, even as I speak in the name of Jesus, may God open the of the secret things of God and may he tell you what you are meant to achieve Amen. and in what season. Amen. And may the portals of heaven say this is the hour. Mm. This is the moment. Yes. It doesn't matter whether you are feeling prepared. Mm. God's plan can catch up with you. Amen. It doesn't matter whether you are that big or that small. Mm. I declare in the name of Jesus all this your revelation while you are around will be established. Amen. And somebody will say, let the will of God prevail. I pray in the name of the Lord, our Father who art in heaven, and know it be thy name. Thy kingdom come in the name of Jesus. And as you declare so in the name of the Lord, wherever you go, may you declare, may your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. Amen. In that which you want to do, may the kingdom of God come. Clap to God and say, Amen. Amen. And on that day, and on this day, the children of Israel left the land of bondage. And in Jesus' name, I pray under this grace, as you hear me locally and globally, as you receive the word of God, may there be a falling shackle so that every slavery upon you be broken. Every shackles, every bondage, every captivity. On this day, by the grace of God, you will receive your total freedom. May freedom come. Amen. May freedom come. Amen. I say, let 
let there be freedom. Amen. Like it was upon the children of Israel. Every opposition against you, may it give way. Amen. May freedom come. Amen. Tell your neighbor, may freedom come. May freedom come. Freedom to serve God. Freedom. Somebody say amen. Amen. Freedom to glorify God. Somebody say amen. amen. May your freedom come. Amen. Clap to God and say amen. Amen. On that day, the armies of the kingdom of God, the armies of the children of Israel, left the abundance and they went to worship God. I came to say, as the plan of God is getting unveiled, this is not a mere plan, is to worship God. This plan is to glorify God. This plan is to serve God. This plan is to forget a neighbor's year. This plan is to say, if I will serve the Lord together with my family, whether I'm in Turkana, whether I'm in the village, whether I'm in London, whether I'm in Portugal, I will serve the Lord. This day, the will of God is coming upon your life. Amen. And as you become that CEO, you will serve God. As you become that big man, women in the city, they will know you are a child and a servant of God. Wave at me and say, I will worship the Lord. I will worship the Lord. Hallelujah. As you become that person working in that big job, may it be known to you that you are a servant of God. The Bible says, on that very day, mm -hmm. the armies of God Mm. We left and we went to worship God. Imagine they were slaves, but God's word says, when the right time came, mm. they left as a mighty enemy. Amen. You are getting graduated to become an army. Amen. You are getting graduated to become a man of fella. Amen. You are getting graduated to become the tool, the armor of God. Amen. And whatever you will do, mm. it will be established. Amen. And whatever you declare, yes. so shall it be. Amen. Wave at me and say, Amen. 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 If you love it, somebody say, Amen. 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 Last point. Hey, second last. I'm running the end time now. Oh, God's presence, guidance, and provision to accomplish His plan is the next point. God's presence, comma. God's guidance, comma, and God's provision. Glory to God. Amen. Exodus chapter number 13, verse 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud and led the way and by night in a pillar of fire and gave them light so as to go by day and by night. Simply what he's saying is in the accomplishment of God's plan, there is no day, there is no night. Sure. It is progress upon progress. Sure. It is glory upon progress. Sure. I want to preach, but allow me to read the next <laughs> scripture. So he angered you, allowed you to anger and fed you with manna, with which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, comma, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. We are already in Deuteronomy chapter number 8, verse 3. <laughs> well, I thank you. <laughs> what I'm simply saying is God's plan and the purpose and the strategy is firmly established. Mm. It cannot be thwarted. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, as we align ourselves with God's will, God is ready to go with us. As we move with God, is progress upon progress. Yes. And I pray for somebody today, in the name of Jesus, yes. may you receive the grace of God that makes man progress from one glory to another. Amen. From one level to another. Amen. From one victory to another. Amen. From one territory taken to another territory taken. Amen. From one promotion to another. Amen. Because of why God is with you. If it is on the night, he will lead you by a cloud of fire. If it is in the day, he will lead you by the cloud of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the Shekinah presence to walk with your people today. So that wherever they go, in whatever they do, you will be with them. You will be on their portion. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. If you tell God, here you are, 
If you tell God, yeah, you have His presence will be with you. His presence will be with you. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. I pray that somebody will say, in the name of Jesus, my business from today will be God's business. Amen. I will glorify God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray that whatever you do, may God be glorified. Amen. Again, the Bible is saying, He provided manna, food that they did not know. You are about to be shocked by God because you thought your provision comes from Messiah, but God is about to open portals from heaven. Hallelujah! God is about to start surprising you with wealth and riches, not for your only entitlement, but for you to accomplish the unfortable plan of God. Wave at me and say, Amen. Amen. If God wants you to accomplish his will with a car laban, he will provide the car. If God wants you to do his will using an aeroplane, you will get your plane. If God wants you to accomplish his plan under the sun with a sun or a oribashika, with a big account or with whatever, he will provide because they did not know about manna, but they continued to the journey under the provision of God. May God provide for your needs. Amen. May God provide for your needs. Amen. I pray may the Lord provide for your needs. Amen. May the Lord provide for your needs. Amen. Some of you may require a visa, but that visa is with God if you are to accomplish the will of God. And that visa can locate you because God needs you where he wants you to be on that day. Wave at me and say amen. amen. On that day, may the will of God be manifest amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 